Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, we'll be covering about automation testing interview questions. This is part one of the multi-part series. This is mainly for the developers and QA testing community who are trying to accelerate their careers into automation testing. Automation testing is becoming a very important part in every agile and software development. So these are the commonly asked interview questions. I hope it benefits you. And if it does, please subscribe to my channel to get more interview questions. You can also drop in your comments and get your questions clarified if you have any doubts or queries. Let's get started. So just to give you an overview, this is an auto, uh, automation testing top scenarios and top interview question and answers. We will be showing you hands-on examples and code walkthrough. Again, if you have any doubts or queries, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer and help you. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. Thank you so much. Let's get started. What is automation testing? Automation testing is a technique used by using an automation tool to write and execute testers, test scripts, and test cases. The main goal of automation testing is to reduce the number of test cases to be run manually and not eliminate manual testing altogether. So this is a very important question that is asked. Uh, they want to know your understanding of what your approach is of automation testing. So make sure you prepare this question really well. You can also give some examples of automation tools like Protractor, Selenium, QTP, or whatever is your primary automation tool. The next question is, when will you automate a test case? Now, this is a very tricky question because this is usually asked to check your understanding of QA, of what you think about the whole application functionality. So to answer this, you can say, Automation is preferred in following use cases. Whenever you'd find yourself doing some repetitive tasks, you will consider automating it. You, it the automation suite can also be created for smoke test and sanity test. We can also create automation suite with multiple data sets to make sure that our application behaves and works in multiple different, under different data conditions. Also, to write regression test cases when you find yourself writing and executing manually some test cases you will use this automation scripts to reduce that dependency on manual execution also importantly investors would want to know that uh, this is a good return on investment that you write automation once and can use it the next question is when you should not be automating any particular tests. So when you know that your application is undergoing frequent changes, it's not a good idea to automate because you'll have to keep updating your automation scripts. So make sure if your application is changing frequently, it's not a good idea to automate. You need some kind of stability in your application. Also, if you have one-time test cases, you can always use it as manual and rather than automating and spending time. Also, for ad hoc and random testing, you can use manual testing and not automated. The next question is, what are the steps involved in the automation process? In the automation process, steps involved are selecting a testing or automation tool. Then you have to define the scope of your automation. What are you trying to accomplish using this automation test scripts then you will use then we have to plan design and develop the test automated test scripts then finally we will use a, a build pipeline to execute our all our automated test scripts and finally you should also consider the amount required in maintaining the automated scripts that's very important the next question is what are the points that are covered while planning phase of automation. So during the planning phase of automation, there are important steps that you should be carefully evaluating because you don't want to waste too much of time. 
so the interviewer wants to know your approach about how will you go about in planning your automation scripts so the first important thing is selecting the right automation tool the second thing is selecting the correct automation framework then you have to identify what is in the scope and what is outside the scope of automation and then you have to set up your test environment set up your test data finally prepare the timelines of your delivery for example you when you want to deliver the test scripts which features which functionality and lastly identify and deliver the test suites or the test scripts the next question that is asked is in what conditions we cannot use automation testing so now this is a tricky question friends uh, because the interviewer here is trying to ask you a question to see the boundary of your thinking how well you think about automating your understanding of automation so make sure you study this uh, use case really well so automation testing is not useful for agile methods in the following conditions when agile testing always asks for changes in requirements so if you don't have a stable application you don't see return of return on investment in your automation testing so if your application is not stable if it is frequently changing it's not worth investing time and effort in automating that application also when you have an exhaustive level of documentation involved in agile then it's not worth to automate that particular suite only suitable for those where regression suites tests are during reg agile testing like continuous integration so if you have something where you have regression tests only during agile testing you will not consider the automation testing so these are some of the scenarios you can think of more based on the scenario or the example that you are giving the next question is what are the primary features of a good automation tool or this question can also be asked like if you have to select a particular automation tool what are your criteria or how would you go about evaluating a particular automation tool so there can be multiple ways of asking this question be sure and be prepared that the answer to this is here so test environment support and easy to use so how quickly you can set up the test environment easily does it provide good debugging facility does it provide robust object identification does it provide object and image testing abilities object identification is very important or element identification in the web page testing of databases if you are working with data driven application you want to test different data sets so that's very important finally you want to you want your automation tool to work with multiple languages and frameworks which will give you flexibility to your team to extend the tool so these are some of the good criteria of selecting a automation tool the next question is what are the types of framework used in software automation testing in software automation testing four types of frameworks used are data driven automation framework keyword driven automation framework modular automation framework and hybrid automation framework i will cover all of this in detail later but for now remember that these are the four high level frameworks that are used in automation testing the next question is what is the scripting standard while performing automation testing so here the interviewer is trying to ask you about the coding standards about the quality of the automation scripts that you write so it's very important so while writing the scripts for automation you must consider the following things uniform naming convention and then three lines of comments for every 10 lines of code a code should be well maintained should be easy to understand should be able to somewhat other developer should be easily able to extend your code and then adequate indentation robust error handling and recovery scenario so this handles the negative uh, use cases and negative path then finally use of frameworks wherever possible so limit writing custom code and try to use the framework to the max that you have selected the next question is what are the some of the most popular tools for automation testing 
some of the most popular testing tools uh, are Cucumber, Jasmine, QTP, Rational Robot, and Selenium. You can talk about your experience with any of these and that would help that should help you cement your interview. The next question is on what basis you can map the success of an automation testing. So this is to understand the return on investment of your automation scripts. So they want to know how much benefit or how much benefit it has helped in writing automation testing. So you can talk about defect de detection ratio that is number of defects caught by your automation scripts. Automation execution time and time savings to release the product. So how much time you're saving in finding the defects, fixing them and releasing the product. So this is a very important criteria. And then final thing is reduction in labor and other costs. So if automation suite can reduce five people's work to two people's work, that's a good uh, amount of investment, return on investment that you're getting. So these are the things that the interviewer is looking for. The next question, can you list out some of the disadvantages of manual testing? So this is a uh, important question. It looks easy. They want to know what you think about manual testing. Remember friends, they might want to ask you this question, but please do not say that you love manual testing because they want to hear about disadvantages of manual testing. So manual software testing requires more time and more resources. It leads to inaccuracy. It leads to executing the same test case repeatedly in error prone and boring. It's impract impractical to do manual testing on very large projects and time bound projects. So if the application is complex, it's huge, it's large, then it's difficult to, to catch all the defects or to maintain the quality of the product. That's why you need automation testing and not manual testing. So that brings us to the last question uh, that we discussed just now. Uh, I hope you like uh, my video and this was about the basics of automation interview questions. Uh, this is part one of the series. I'll be bringing you many more parts of this automation testing interview series. Please drop in your comments, your feedback, your questions. I'll be happy to help you and clarify any doubts if you have. Before you leave, friends, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. Thank you so much. See you on the next episode.